Instructor Gary Bradley will now present the certificates to the graduates of BJCOT Class 243. And I am excited to tell you that guess what? Now you all are certified juvenile correctional officers. services and resources that young people are provided with at DJJ. Today we saw the education and not just formal classroom learning but some of the real hands-on learning through the hydroponic gardening. We saw, uh, um, we saw and we heard about mentors, about recreation, about really comprehensive behavioral health services. Hearing about that continued connection to mentors we know that is a critical piece for young people's continued success. I'm Miranda Williams. I'm Governor Kemp's pre-K through 12th grade education policy advisor, as well as juvenile justice policy advisor. We've been traveling around to three different DJJ facilities over the last two days. We've been to Macon, Savannah, and Waycross, and um, I'm just so excited for all of the great work that DJJ is doing for our youth in the state of Georgia. One of the things that stands out is their education programs and how they're rehabilitating the youth, and once they get out, they're able to go back into society and have great quality lives and so that makes me really proud and I just want to thank the DJJ staff for all of their hard work and everything they're doing to help our youth. Thanks so much. I'm Steve Alfonier, Executive Director for the Alabama Department of Youth Services and also President of CJJA. Today it was my pleasure to award Commissioner Tyrone Oliver the President's Award for 2021. This award is given to a director each year who exemplifies the type of directors we want at CJJA by leadership and initiative. Commissioner Oliver, in his brief tenure here at CJJA the last two years, has stepped up and become a leader in the Southern region as well as nationally.
Hi, I'm Terry McDonald. I'm the president of the Association of Women Executives and Corrections. I want to thank the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice for bringing four young ladies out today to share their experience, their strength, and their ideas about how we can do corrections better. The young ladies talked from their hearts about the value that the staff bring to the work that they do and what they need from us as leaders. I was remarkably impressed with the staff from the Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice. They couldn't have been more compassionate, more caring, more kind, and professional. Thank you on behalf of the Association of Women Executives and Corrections. We learned much today about how we need to do work better as we lead systems across America. Thank you. It was fun, it was very interactive for me, and my favorite part would probably be the life skills when a, a certain staff member came in. Um, Justin, he was a big help in the program. Without him, I don't think I would have made it as far as I did, because whenever I was feeling down, he helped me tear back up, or whenever it got too boring, he will hike the class back up and help anybody do work. And it just taught me a lot of things about life and things I could do in life. Um, the opportunities I had in the program, I met a lot of interesting people here that I seen what they could do with their job and what they do with their time, and it just got me interested in what they could do and what I could do too. Um, to know somebody's behind me to pick me up when I fall, or whenever I come short, she could throw me a little bit more rope to help me pull along what I need, and I know she's gonna be there to support me whenever I need support. 